This box contains the three books every single entrepreneur should read. So, you want to be an entrepreneur? Don't do it. <laughs> so, you want to be an entrepreneur? Welcome to the world of long nights, stress, and constantly having shit thrown in your face. But, enough to discourage you, let's get to the point of this book. My three top books for entrepreneurs. Now, I read a book a week, and I've been reading a book a week for around a year and a half at this point. As I said, life is just very complicated, and there's a lot of little intricacies, and there's a lot to learn. So rather than taking that toll on yourself, you've got the aid of thousands and thousands of books. And genuinely, reading a book a week is probably one of, if not the best habits I've ever instilled in my life. Having a clear roadmap, knowing it's possible, and really just following someone else's path, it's, it's the quickest way to success. So let's start with my number one top book for entrepreneurs. So number one, The Personal MBA by Josh Kaufman. I love this book because there are so many people out there who are about to go get their BAs or if they've gone their BAs, they're about to get their MBAs. They're about to spend so much money, time and effort to get this degree. And they get this degree with the thought in mind that now they're equipped to start their own successful business. Well, Josh even says so himself. If you want to start a business, going down the college route isn't the right way to do things. In all fairness, I dropped out of high school, so obviously I have quite a biased opinion, but um, he even says so himself. Now, the one thing about entrepreneurship is you will have all the info, you will have the right roadmap, and then everything goes to shit. And that's why spending time and time learning and strategizing, although, you know, I've literally just talked about the benefits of reading a book a week, it really doesn't do much unless you go out, you make mistakes, you fail, you apply. Now this book right here, it has everything from marketing to taxes to accounting to raising initial seed capital. It even talks about the lifestyle. I would say if you are looking to get your BA or your MBA, you should probably quit right now. Entrepreneurship is not for you because you don't know what a good ROI is. Rather than spending three, four years and spending just extortionate amount of money, buy this book i think it is like 15 dollars. spend a week reading it and then go and apply this shit honestly i've never found such a compact and thorough book 100 percent any budding entrepreneur anyone who wants to get into entrepreneurship just give this a read now number two would have to be tony robbins money master game now let me tell you why as an entrepreneur you get shit thrown in your face for just months and years and then at some point something just clicks and things start to work and you get rewarded and the reward is usually monetary now once you start getting some monetary reward here's what you want to do and 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 all entrepreneurs think it's not going to happen to them but i've experienced this personally the minute you start making money you think well shit, now it's time to enjoy myself now it's time to bring up my living costs and in all fairness you kind of want to show all those people who completely doubted you like look I, I, i've actually done it i've accomplished it <laughs> now i'm gonna enjoy myself and you usually end up spending some stupid money now the wise thing to do, and he talks about it here, make sure you're saving money, but more importantly, make sure you're investing money. And he talks about the importance of compound interest and how little sacrifices today in little increments grow into this huge, just snowballing effect. And I do believe there's a difference between rich and wealthy. And I don't think it's a threshold. I think it's a state of mind. Now, when you're rich, you make a lot and you spend a lot and you got nothing left. In my opinion, when you're wealthy, you make a lot, you spend a good amount, but you also save and invest. Because entrepreneurship is a very rough and difficult path. And at some point, your business is gonna fail, the market's gonna change, a competitor is gonna beat you out, or you're gonna be in need of cash to scale your business. And as I said, the problem with making 500,000 a year and spending 500,000 a year, is you're living in this bias that everything is gonna get better or stay the same. Now, Tony Robbins has compiled interviews with just some of the smartest people in the world right now. And really this book is just crazy thorough. Now the personal MBA, the personal MBA will teach you how to make money through your business. This book, this book will give you the roadmap as to what do you do once you've made that money. And I think these two books hand in hand, honestly, are probably the only two tools you need to make a million plus a year. Now the third book I'm gonna recommend is definitely gonna surprise you. And that is Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. This is a true story of an Auschwitz prison inmate who went through just horrific things. I'm surprised he was even able to muster up the courage to write about such things in a book. It really does humble you and give you context. Remember at the beginning of this video, I said, as an entrepreneur, your business might fail. You might have to lay off some staff. That investment might go bad and you will hit your lowest low. And at that point, you're gonna have to make the decision to get up and keep moving as an entrepreneur 
or just give up. And reading a book like this really gives you context as to what a fortunate and blessed position you're in right now and how no matter what your circumstances are, you can find what your purpose is and you can find empowerment in the fact that everything can get stripped away from you, but you still have this. And this is the only thing you need to move forward to have a happy and fulfilled life. And that, that is why this book is third. So guys, I know this video was a bit serious. My last four or five videos were quite flashy, quite entertaining. I was doing a lot of traveling, some for work, some for pleasure. But now because I'm in London, I can spend a little bit more time on YouTube. And I actually put out on my Instagram, like, would you guys like to see eight posts in August? And the resounding answer was yes. Now, there's no ROI on this. I don't make any money on this. I have my real businesses. This is really just to help out some of you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really does mean the world to me and it really does help out the channel. And to take it one step further, if you really want me to post more videos, leave a comment down below and let me know what would you like to see. But I really do appreciate your time. I hope you enjoyed those three books and my reasons as to why I think every entrepreneur should read them. And I'll see you guys next week. Money, money, money.